Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to install Microsoft Edge on your macOS computer. In my example, I'll be using macOS Sonoma, but the instructions I'm gonna show you will also apply to other macOS versions. On top of showing you how to install Microsoft Edge, I'm gonna also show you how to import the bookmarks, favorites, and other settings from Safari to Microsoft Edge. There's a special setting that you need to do for you to be able to do this. So let's switch now to my macOS computer to show you all this. The first step you need to do is to download Microsoft Edge. So on your macOS computer, open Safari, and in Safari, go to this website, microsoft.com slash edge slash download. And here, click on download for macOS. Click on accept and download, and Microsoft Edge will start downloading. So when the download finishes, click on the arrow here, and then double click the Microsoft Edge package to install it. Click on continue and then install and here you need to provide your password for your mac computer and then click on install software so now microsoft edge was installed let's click on close and here to clean up the computer select move to trash to delete the installation package that we don't need anymore so microsoft edge will start automatically i'm gonna close it here and i want to show you the setting that you need to make on your mac computer so to allow edge to import the settings from safari so let me close edge completely i'm gonna right click on it and then choose quit and to do this setting you need to go to settings and then under settings go to privacy and security and here you need to go to full disk access so let me scroll to go to full disk access here it is click on it and you need to give microsoft edge full disk access only to import the favorites we're gonna revert the setting afterwards so here to enable the setting, simply toggle it to on and then put your password and hit enter and the setting is enabled. So now I'm going to open Safari just to show you the couple of bookmarks that I put in Safari and that we're going to import into Microsoft Edge. And let's open the menu in Safari and let's click on bookmarks in the bottom. And you'll notice that I have a couple of bookmarks, one for my website and one for my channel on YouTube. So I'm going to close Safari once again. And now let's open Edge. And in Microsoft Edge, I'm going to click the three dots here. And then I'm going to choose Settings. And under Settings, I'm going to make sure that Profiles is selected. Click on Import Browser Data. And then click on Choose what to import here. And Safari will be selected by default. If you have other browsers on your Mac computer, make sure that Safari is selected. And when you select Safari, choose what you want to import. So favorites and bookmarks and browsing history, and then click on import. And now everything was important. And now let's check if everything was imported. Let me open a new tab and the bookmarks will be imported under other favorites. So click on it here. And these are both bookmarks imported here. Of course, they will open if you choose one of them. So let me go back to settings now. So to show you how to import the passwords. And you see here that you also have the option to import the passwords. But before importing the passwords from Safari, you need to export them into a CSV file and then import them. So let's go to Safari to export the passwords. And then Safari, you need to go to settings. So click on Safari and then choose settings. And under settings, select passwords. If it's not selected, you need to unlock it here by using the password for your user that you use to log into your Mac computer. So here I'm going to put the password. So now the passwords are unlocked and now you can export them. Click on the arrow here and then choose export all passwords and then click on export passwords and it will ask you where you want to save them. I'm going to keep them in the documents folder and I'm going to keep the name passwords and then I'm going to click on save. Once again, it will ask you to put the password for your user. So here I've put it and then I'm going to click on OK. And now the passwords are exported. Now I'm going to switch to Edge to import the passwords. So here you click on import passwords and they are in a CSV file. It is selected by default, selected if it's not the case. And then click on choose file. And then it is under documents as you see. So click on the passwords file that we just exported and then click on open. And now the passwords were imported. Let me check them. I'm gonna go to Outlook. Here there is a saved password for Outlook. 
So click here. And then I'm going to put my knowledge sharing tech account. And here it is. I just clicked under password and I'm going to choose here knowledge sharing tech and then sign in and it will sign me in with the password that we just imported. One very important thing about the passwords when you export them is that the passwords file will contain your password in clear text format. So here, make sure to delete it. I'm going to go to documents and I'm going to delete the file and also make sure to empty the trash. So let me also empty the trash. Now I want to show you how to set Microsoft Edge as your default browser on your Mac computer if you want to do this. So click on the Apple menu and then click on system settings. Under system settings, make sure that desktop and dock is selected. And here scroll until you find something called default browser. And then here you can select the drop down list and select the browser you want. I'm going to select Microsoft Edge here and I'm going to close the system settings. And at the end, do not forget to remove the full disk access for Microsoft Edge because we don't need it anymore. So I'm going to go to system settings once again to reverse this. And here, let's go to privacy and security. And under privacy and security, once again, we need to click on full disk access and turn the setting off for Microsoft Edge. You need to provide your password once again so for you to be able to change the setting. And you need to restart Microsoft Edge for the settings to take effect. So click on quick and reopen. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. And I'll be happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. I hope that this video was useful to you. In case it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you on the next video.